everyone so i am back home i've been back home for a little while i am making uh i'm baking a whole chicken i'm baking a whole chicken so i just wanted to show you guys how i am about to do that just in case any of you are interested in how to bake a whole chicken hopefully my recipe or my the steps will be easy to follow and you will give it a try all right um well i got all my grocery steaks are super expensive butter is expensive but <sighs> butter and it's not even real butter it's spread anyway i'm talking too much let me just let me show you how i'm about to do this chicken yeah <laughs> All right, y'all, so I started by soaking my chicken in some vinegar and lemon juice, and I let that soak for about a good 20 to 30 minutes. Whilst that was soaking, I went ahead and peeled and washed all of my um, seasonings that I will be cutting up, which I will show you in the next clip. So for seasonings, I'm going to be forget about don't worry about that. I'm going to be blending everything in here. So I have some pepper, pepper for spice, one whole onion, um, ginger, garlic. Um, I think this is parsley. And I have some cilantro. And I have some green onions here. And I have. Um, Oh gosh, what is this thing going again? Celery. This is Chinese celery. So I'm going to be blending that up. Here I am simply just cutting up all of the seasonings before I put it in the food processor. Uh, so if you're following my steps, this is how I do it. <laughs> that's everything all cut up and everything um this here is some married man pork that i brought back from diana i added some salt some worcestershire sauce and i added a little bit of sugar and some barbecue sauce and water and then i blended everything up which you will see This is how everything looks and let me tell you this was an amazing blend it smells so good mm -mm -mm. so i went ahead and greased my pan that i was going to put the chicken in then i took the chicken out the water stopped it dry i added some salt and black pepper to it and i also went ahead and cut it um so that the seasonings could get into it which you'll see And this is how it looks with all of my seasoning blends put all over it when i was done i put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes but i should have left it in the fridge for a little bit longer so that it will marinate some more so if you're trying this i recommend putting it in the fridge after you season it for more than 30 minutes at least an hour so that it will marinate really really well and this is it once it came out of the fridge and now i'm about to put it into the oven and let it cook Whilst it was cooking in the oven, I went ahead and mixed my barbecue sauce. So I put just the regular um, sweet barbecue sauce with some Jamaican jerk sauce and a little bit of mustard. Uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but I decided to try it with that. And then I added some um, orange peel to it to give it like an orange flavor. Okay.
and this is how it's looking after the first hour of baking and then I turned it over and I added the barbecue sauce and I let it cook for another hour and after two and a half hours of cooking it is all done nice and brown and it just looks so beautiful and then i went ahead and i added some of the sauce on top of it just to give it a little shine but it came out pretty good the only thing that it was lacking was a little bit more salt but i like to cook with less salt so if you're trying it just add your salt to taste and let me know in the comment section if you did try it out and how it came out all right thank you for watching god bless you i will see you in another video very soon bye i had to come in the bathroom because outside is very noisy yeah my bird looks good my bird looks good it's a little fresh but it's all right it look good though it look good right it look good so that brings me to the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you're gonna try it let me know down in the comment section okay let me know and if you did try it let me know how it came out all right um the baking process took it took about two hours two and a half hours which is good enough time for it to cook really good um and Alright, so I'm gonna see you in another video very soon. God bless you, and remember, Jesus is coming soon. And speak the truth in love. Subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up this video, and share it. Bye.